Howdy fellas, hope your day's going well. We're back for some more PvP. Obviously today I wanted to use uh, Blue King and I also wanted to use uh, Blue Diane. So why not just make an alt team? Very simple alt team. Uh, I don't know, I don't think I've ran this before. Maybe I did like a similar kind of team, but definitely not this one. Very, very simple, very efficient. We have Fraudrin, you know, Fraudrin does what he has to do. And then we have two very powerful AoE ultimates. We do not have gauge removal, but that's fine since we are an alt team and Fraudrin is going to stop any shenanigans for two turns. Of course, Diane can attack seal, King can heal, he can petrify, Fraudrin can remove buffs. We have Merlin in the back for, you know, that one gauge. Uh, 123, honestly, I don't even need to use CC food, but I'm going to use it anyway just because uh, it's, the, uh, it's the, uh, the preferred food of choice. So yeah, 138, I mean... I don't know if I will even go second. I don't think it's possible for me to uh, go second with this. But yeah, guys, very simple team. Literally, just get my ultimate and win the game. You know, not messing around. We're not using no DPS, none of that stuff. Just get the ultimate, win, and uh, yeah, just have a good time. Let's get into it. All right, first opponent, of course, is going to be this team. Can we top deck a King Petrify? Because that's an instant win. We do not top deck a King Petrify. However, it's okay, it's okay because we are still gonna win wait hold up what's the crit chance 30 percent i don't like that but let's use it anyway let's use it anyway and she does not crit fantastic yeah this is why this team sucks if you get like uh, this opponent if you get all rushed with this team you are so screwed if you face a fraudulent you are so screwed it's over man it's over. Unless he has double petrify to which he will stall out just one turn. And he does have a double petrify. Interesting. Interesting. No worries. No worries. Alright. What can we do here? I guess just do this. Because I don't actually want to... Uh I don't want to touch his lost vein. I just simply do not want to do it. I've died more times than I can count through uh, accidental crits against lost vein. No, oh, I think it's over now. All right, GG. GG, no re. Yeah, I think it's game over. We. Attack the king, and then if somehow they don't all die, we just uh, petrify king again. Well, not again, but just petrify him. But yeah, big Dian, second strongest ultimate. Very easy, quick win. Do we get a wipe? Yes, sir. Easy. Just like that. Sometimes it's nice to just use the uh, the simple teams, man. Simple, simple teams. Very easy win. Very good stuff. Let's go to the next one. Next opponent. Oh, we have an Esther Rosa. Esther Rosa. All right. All right, buddy. Let's get attacking. Obviously, turn one, we're just going to push whoever's ultimate because, you know, anyone's ultimate is good. Fraudrin, very, very powerful ultimate. Uh, let's see what happens here. Honestly, I might, I might decide to not even use Fraudrin's ultimate, to be completely honest. I might just uh, push for someone else's. We could push for everyone's ultimate. Well, not the like This turn, I can get Deanne's. The next turn, I could get, um, you know. Next turn, I could just get Thingy's ultimate, King's, if I wanted to. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? We won't take much damage there. Let's just do this. Oh, we actually did a bit of extra damage to Esther Rosa because he does have the the buff up. What's the play, bro? If that king gets altered by Dian, he dies. Petrify Dian. I mean, it doesn't matter what he does. Fine by me. 
I mean, what's even the point? I might as well just do it. <laughs> I might as well just do it. <laughs> yeah, here we go. All right, now, uh, how does he get out of this? How does he get out of this? <laughs> uh, it'll be interesting to see what he does. Level three heal. There's the Rosa. Oh, right, fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough, mate. All right, man. Let's uh, go to the next one. I think we're, we're going to have to give away some free wins soon because getting close to Champion 1, and you guys know I do not want to be in Champion 1. Too many bots. Let's keep going. Next opponent, we have this team. All right, this should be a bit more challenging because of Merlin. Seal everyone, of course. Uh, what are the chances we crit Lost Vein? Hopefully, hopefully we don't. All right, let's do this. Come on. Yeah. Alright, very good. Very good start. Fantastic start. Now, we could just lose if he just pulls 5,000 Merlin gauge removals. Now, that's definitely possible. I've lost to it before. So, you know. Won't be too surprised if uh, some shenanigans like that happened. Oh wow, could I go for double? Oh, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Perfect. We'll get 30% of uh, Merlin's defense there. Merlin has good defense. So that should help just a little bit against Lost Vein. Doesn't. No, I mean, it's okay. Is he confident that he kills my Fraugen? He's gonna petrify him. Oh no, he's gonna petrify my king. What are you doing? What are you doing, my friend? I don't know. However, that Merlin is dead. And... Uh, yeah, I'll just, uh, I'll keep these in the hand. I'll just keep them. Alright, bye-bye, Merlin. Now he has no one to reduce gauge. We have a heal, so we got good backup. Uh, I don't see what he can do. Imagine he double petrifies. Goes for Fraugen, he lives. Petrify King. Alright, I think we've won here, boys. I think the win has been secured. How many stacks? Three stacks, so good attack. Very good attack. Alright, baby. Let's see, uh, let's see what we do here. I don't think we'll get a full board wipe because of Escanor, but it should be good. Oh wow, almost. Uh, kill Eskinor, maybe? Ah, uh, close enough. <laughs> as close as it could be to killing him, I guess. But yeah, GG, easy. This uh, this team just gives out easy wins, man. Just easy wins. Obviously, it's not a very, it's not a, you know, friendly team. It's a very uh, whale-heavy, you know, team. But, what can you do, man? What can you do? Let's just uh, finish it off here. And there we go. Uh, I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna give away some free wins real quick. Just to uh, drop down. Because we're going into Champion 1 if we win the next game. Which we probably are. This is a very, very oppressive old team. Not much you can do against it. But uh, yeah, gonna do my thing and then I'll be right back. Alright, what's up next? This team. Is that the guy I faced? No, uh, probably not. Probably not. However, we do get a juicy play here. Which, to be completely honest, isn't even that juicy. But, you know. We'll just attack seal her. M make uh, King waste his cleanse. What? Why would he quit? There was no reason for him to quit. You could have just cleansed that, dude. Jesus Christ. But, uh, okay, fair enough. Uh, <laughs> let's uh, let's go to the next game. Alright, next opponent. 
We have the same team. So what's that? Three three times in a row we face this team. Let's see what we can do. Uh, we get Fraudrin's skill. Which is not ideal. I'm not going to lie. Even with his, like... Look, I don't want to risk the, uh, the loss, right? But look. Crit chance, 11%. Right, his loss vein has two percent, so I have nine percent crit chance. Right, something like that, nine percent. Oh, he actually didn't crit for once. Let's go, let's go. More often than not, he does usually tend to crit. However, this is very good here. We can go like if she reduces my gauge, which she definitely is. If I can top deck a fraudulent card, we get double ultimates. Very hard to reduce double ultimates once you've already used your uh, turn one gauge removal. However, luck will always uh, surprise you. Trust me. Luck will make you uh, lose games that you would have never thought you would have been able to lose. Alright, so let's see. Damn it. Damn it. Alright, let's get her ultimate then and then merge this. Get some gauge on King. Don't crit. Nice. Oh, that was good damage. I like that. I like that. Alright, we can do a sick play here. Yeah, we've beaten this guy. Go for the attack seal on Merlin. Petrify is king. GG. Easy. Bro, this team is so good. What? Have I used this before, man? I don't remember using this. Because if I did, I would remember just how good this, uh, this is. This is a fantastic team right here, man. Very quick wins. Easy wins at that. Don't have to do too much. We're never really in trouble. It's a great team, man. Unless he petrifies me here, which will be annoying. Alright, he's just ruined my entire play. Fair enough, my dude. Fair enough, my dude. You just ruined the entire... Like, the whole fun of this. However, he is screwed next turn. Or he's screwed this turn even if he doesn't have a, a heal. Does he have a heal card? If he has no heal, remember he just used one. If he doesn't have one, he's screwed. One gauge removal. We have three ultimates. Not going to be enough. He can't kill anyone. I haven't, uh, haven't crit his last way and he forfeits. He had no play to do. Get smashed, you fool. This team is so, so good. I love it, man. I love it. I'm, I don't I, I don't remember using this, man. Something tells me that sometimes I might have like used the team before and then done another video on it, but I don't remember using this. Very, very oppressive team. Very difficult to beat. Let's go to the next one. Next opponent. Oh, we have a Zeldris. This is not good. This is not good. Zeldris is a good way to counter us. Right, so we get. F oh man, yeah, this is so not good. Uh. Yeah, it looks like we're just gonna have to take things slow here. We're gonna have to take it slow against this team. We don't wanna do anything stupid. So let's uh, start off on his Zildjus. The, the good thing about this team is we just need to avoid Lost Vein as much as possible. Do not attack Lost Vein whatsoever. And all of a sudden, we're not in like super bad situations. I think I'm... Oh, wait, I was going to say I was going to Petrify him, but Petrify doesn't even matter too much. Petrify is completely irrelevant right now. Alright, he's going to attack Seal. But, I mean, sure, I guess. <laughs> sure thing, bro. Now, he's going to have uh, skills in his hand. He's going to reduce uh, the gauge of both of our units. No doubt about it. He definitely will. Yeah, see, so he's already gearing up for it. He's already gearing up for it. There he goes. That's one. He's going to put one on Fraudin as well. That's two. Seal recovery skills again. But when are you going to learn, old man? Wait, what's, uh, what's important to me? I mean, I might as well forget about getting King's Ultimate, honestly. 
I really should just forget about it because it's not gonna happen. Yeah, let's do this. Uh, make him make him uh, waste the skill move. Don't don't crit Lost Vein because I know he has a ton of cards. Oh, you crit him, bro! Look at all those cards in his hand, dude. <laughs> oh no! I knew it. I knew it would happen to us eventually, man. Oh, he only had one Zodrus card too. I think we've lost here. Yikes, that hurts so much. Now, what are the odds that... 77, right? So, what are the odds that Fraudrin can kill him? Pretty low pretty low not gonna lie but we have to attack into him anyway just because we need to reduce his ultimate we crit him again what are the, what are the odds we can do 75k damage uh, incredibly low yeah still good though still good all right now we can naturally get uh king's ultimate if we can somehow get this ultimate, we are, we are, we've won. Oh no, he's just gonna go all out. God damn it, man. That one crit. Wow, he crit my king as well. Get out of here, dude. <laughs> Unfortunate. Yeah, that one crit on Lost Vein from Diane is uh, the reason why we lost here, which, you know, I did say earlier on, like, critting Lost Vein, you just, like, you know, that's the whole point of him. Unfortunate, uh, I was hoping to go undefeated with this team, but you know, I guess uh, he did get a decent RNG Let's go to the next one. All right final opponent of the day. We do get this team once again. This is a real player This is gonna be easy as pie It is gonna be a real player Or right, maybe not easy as pie. We top deck the wrong card unfortunate, but King ultimate is a good start Good start indeed Obviously, he can't reduce my gauge, right? So, we're gonna be in a bit of a struggle to try and get more gauge. Yo, did he merge a gold petrify, man? Oh, that'll be, that's gonna be cancerous, dude. Wow, he did. He did. That is very cancerous. Oh, man. Alright, look. Uh, I don't have a, I don't need to waste... No, actually, you know what? Whatever, man. Don't crit Lost Vein, please. Yeah. Very good. We reduced the... Uh, well, deleted Gothas stacks. All right, here we can get the Ann Ultimate. Very good, very good. Very good indeed. What, he has another Petrify? No, he has a heal. Okay. Goes for Fraugen. That's good. That's good. Fraugen is just a spot. Whoa. Dude went into gold. Jeez. God damn. Alright, let's do this. No crits, please. Nice. Yeah, no, it's over. Baby, it's over. Unless he has another, like, more petrifies. No, it looks like he's just gonna rank up his... Oh, wow, you got a gold rank up. And he just quit, what the heck. Alright, very weird game. But, uh, yeah, a very, very, very strong team. How many uh, games did we play? One, two, three, four, five, six. This is the seventh game. We were six and one. So to me, that's incredibly successful. Six and one in PvP. Uh, yeah, man. Really great team. Very easy to play. Very simple to play. Very difficult for the opponent to fight. Uh, you know, couldn't be uh, couldn't be uh, happier with the showcase. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this team with two lovers and Fraugen. Leave a like on the video if you did enjoy it. Subscribe to my channel if you are new. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another video. Take care.